ஹாய் நண்பர்களே எல்லாருக்கும் வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு செஸ் வித் சிங்கம் நம்ம வந்து இன்னைக்கு என்ன பார்க்க போறோம்னா வேர்ல்டு செஸ் சாம்பியன்ஷிப்ல பாத்தீங்கன்னா கேம் ஒன் பார்க்க போறோம் இதுல பாத்தீங்கன்னா நெப்போ வந்து ஒயிட் மேக்னஸ் கால்சன் பிளாக் திஸ் வாஸ் இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் ட்ரா ஆக்சுவலா பாத்தீங்கன்னா நெப்போக்கு வந்து ஓப்பனிங் அட்வான்டேஜ் இருந்தது ஏர்டு ஒன் பான் அப் அதுக்கப்புறம் கால்சனுக்கே கொஞ்சம் கேம் வந்து கொஞ்சம் டஃப்பா இருந்தது அதுக்கப்புறம் அவர் வந்து கஷ்டப்பட்டு ட்ரா பண்றாரு ஐ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் த வேர்ல்ட் செஸ் சாம்பியன்ஷிப் கேம் ஒன் பிட்வீன் நெப்போ அண்ட் கால்சன் ஓகே நெப்போ பார்த்தீங்கன்னா சி ஃபோர் தான் விளையாடுவார் நிறைய பேர் சொல்லிட்டு இருந்தாங்க சி ஃபோர் கொஞ்சம் பேர் வந்து அவர் லைன் மாற்றி டி ஃபோர் ஆடலாம் அப்படின்னு சொன்னாங்க ஆனா இந்தியாவோட ஒன் ஆஃப் த கிரேட்டஸ்ட் பிளேயர் ஃபார்மர் வேர்ல்ட் சாம்பியன் விஷய ஆனந்த் அவர் என்ன ப்ரெடிக்ட் பண்ணார்னா நெப்போ வில் ஓபன் வித் இ ஃபோர் அவர் ப்ரெடிக்ட் பண்ண மாதிரி இ ஃபோர் தான் விளையாண்டாரு நெப்போ மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் த பீப்புள் ப்ரெடிக்டட் தட் நெப்போ வில் கோ வித் சி ஃபோர் இன் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கேம் ஆர் வித் டி ஃபோர் பட் அவர் ஃபார்மர் வேர்ல்ட் சாம்பியன் விஷய ஆனந்த் இ ப்ரெடிக்டட் தட் he will uh, nepo will open with e4 as predicted by vishyanand nepo opens with e4 carlson goes with e5 sometimes he goes with uh, c5 also carlson vandu e5 pandraru sometimes pathina konja time pathina or c5 um alladichundaru okay ipo pathina knight f3 knight c6 bishop b5 ipo pathina uh most of the people will go with uh, knight f6 and that is the berlin defense that is the most strong and more popular among the top level players if black wants to equalize they want to go with uh, berlin berlin wala eduvanga but here magnus chooses the classical approach with the morphy defense with a6 which he did against karjakin sergi karjakin okay next he goes with the bishop e4 knight f6 usual stuff now white goes with castling if you think now again uh, black has the idea to go with the knight takes e4 knight takes e4 பண்ணலாம் and this is the open variation open defense for a black and uh, in this game carlson has chosen bishop e7 that is the close defense and rook e1 b5 bishop b3 castles h3 actually with the h3 nepo declines the martial gambit and here carlson goes for one of the unusual move that is knight a5 inga pathina carlson vandu or unusual move poraaru knight a5 usually la pathina in the edathla pathina most obviously they will try to go with d6 d6 pannalam appadi illana bishop b7 they uh, both the moves are mostly played in this position but here carlson goes for knight f5 so it makes clear that they have uh, prepared something it, இப்போ வந்து என்ன கிளியர் ஆகுதுன்னா இப்போ மேக்னஸ் வந்து இதுல கொஞ்சம் ப்ரிப்பரேஷன் பண்ணிருக்காரு இந்த லைன்ல நைட்டி எஃப் நைட்டி எஃப் மூவ் பாத்தீங்கன்னா நிறைய வந்து இட் இஸ் மோஸ்ட்லி சீன் இன் கம்ப்யூட்டர் விசஸ் கம்ப்யூட்டர் கேம்ஸ் ஹியூமன் கேம்ஸ்ல பாத்தீங்கன்னா ரொம்ப கம்மி தான் ஓகே நைட்டி எஃப் இதுல என்ன ஐடியா நைட்டி எஃப் யூ வாண்ட்ஸ் டு டேக் த 
bishop knight wants to take the bishop and uh, they want to enjoy with double bishop black pathina knight into bishop adikinu try pandrana adukapra avanga double bishop vechu valaranu ana inge ivu vandu or risk strategy enna na he sacrifices one of the central pawn knight takes e5 okay now black goes for knight into b3 knight into b3 pandranga now a into b3 now bishop to b7 again again concentrating on this e4 pawn already the knight is concentrating on the e4 pawn now we have this d3 now d5 now it is clear that the position comes under anti martial systems now white takes the d5 pawn now queen takes d5 now suddenly there is a attack on the g2 pawn ipo pathina they have a battery queen and bishop has joined against g2 they have a battery against g2 nepo goes for queen to f3 in past there have been four games with this uh, exact position in but in all the four games white has won the games previous a pathina in the position vand or four game la reach paniranga four game la me white vand win pandranga ipo pathina carlson goes with the very nice move bishop d6 after bishop d6 there is idea for a black there is queen takes uh, queen takes knight queen takes knight if queen takes uh, bishop then queen takes this rook and it is a checkmate black is for planning for that black vand ipo queen into knight adike try pandranga queen into knight adichitaanga ipo white vand queen into bishop adichitaanga na we will have queen takes uh, rook and checkmate for example ipo idu mari edana or move pandranga knight c3 now queen takes now it is a checkmate okay ipo pathina actual game la pathina after bishop d6 after bishop d6 here nepo goes for a very nice move that is the move of the day move of the game ena vena solla king to f1 இன்ஜின்ஸ் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா அது வந்து ஒரு நல்ல மூன் சொல்லுது இட் கிவ்ஸ் டபுள் எக்ஸ்லிமேட்ரி ஃபார் திஸ் மூ கிங் எஃப் ஒன் த ஐடியா இஸ் வெரி சிம்பிள் இந்த மூ பார்த்தீங்கன்னா என்ன சொல்லுதுன்னா அவர் வந்து நெப்போ நெப்போ வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா நல்ல ஹை லெவலாக ப்ரிப்பேர் பண்ணியிருக்காருன்றது வந்து எக்ஸ்பிளைன் பண்ணுது திஸ் மூ டி நாட்ஸ் தட் நெப்போ ஹஸ் டன் வெரி ஹை லெவல் ப்ரிப்பரேஷன் okay according to fabiana karwana there are two ideas with uh, king f1 one thing is to get the king to the center uh, in anticipation with the end, end game and second one to meet the queen into e5 so now we part the mari queen into e5 next adike mudiyadu because of queen into e5 changna then we will straight away we can just capture this one and there is no queen takes rook if it all queen takes rook they will lose the win now the rook e1 rook is defended till now the both the players are uh, blitzing the moves ipo vera rendu perum pathina moves vandu romba speed ah valaiyaranga ipo rendu perume enna prove aagudha this is under uh, their preparation avanga preparation padi dhaan ivanga poi irukanga okay ipo pathina now uh, carlson goes for a very nice thing he want to defend this uh, bishop on b8 so rook f b8 a important move to defend this uh, bishop so here white is forced to take the queen on d5 so queen into d5 you know again if knight c3 pona na they will try to take queen takes e5 now the bishop on b7 is defended so we can't take this one if we take the queen takes first rook vandrom 
so it is a very good line for uh, black so queen takes queen knight takes knight into d5 so the correspondence just la pathina in the position on the or eight times reach pani irukanga eight times la pathina four times pathina white on the win pani iruka in correspondence this position has been reached for uh, eight times and uh, white has won the position for four times bishop d2 this stops the knight b4 and attacking this uh, c2 if you pathina ivungalukku vandu pawn weakness irukku doubled pawn weakness on b5 b2 b b3 here black does not have that weakness but they are pawned down now black goes for a c5 up to this move both the players were uh, playing very fast in the 16 moves were vandu pathina rendu players me vandu romba fast ah valaidi irukanga so pathina white vandu oru novelty pandranga usually pathina in the position la pathina ipo computer oda games la pathina it has been played knight c3 when knight b4 we have this rook a2 c1 and here white has extra pawn uh end game la extra pawn vachi valayalla nepo plays knight to f3 and it is a novelty in this position so carlson paathina or new move da vekkararu correspondence chess la paathina and the game correspondence games la na paathina they have played knight to b4 idea again same idea with attacking this one but here carlson has prepared a rook d8 a rook d8 prepare panirukkaru so now uh, nepo goes knight c3 again knight b4 so rook uh, e c1 again defending this c2 engines la enna soluduna white has slight edge in this position ena avangalukku vandu pawn up irukku but here uh, black has uh, bishop pair as well as they have uh, good pawn structure even though they are a pawn down white oda position vandu the pawn structure konja weak a irukku adu illama avanga vandu or pawn up la irukanga so white kitta epovume or kaiyla draw irukku and black they have enough compensation for the pawn so rook a c8 for knight c2 rendu perume vandu actually man over pandranga rendu per kitta avlo or periya blunder la edhum unna nadakala both the players are just maneuvering the pieces so knight c6 now nepo goes for a bishop to e3 he could have gone bishop f4 directly first nepo goes for bishop e3 and he then he goes for bishop f4 in the game so he could have directly gone for bishop to f4 which seems to be better bishop f8 and knight e1 and then uh, white can continue with uh, c3 controlling this uh, knight on both the b4 and d4 squares magnus goes for the knight e7 the idea is very simple he wants to go for d5 or f5 and to target the bishop on e3 nepo goes for bishop to f4 which is a slight inaccuracy here uh, nepo thinks that it is logical to read this uh, bishops but here uh, black will get some play against this uh, king side pawns so the best uh, move here can be knight g3 and black can go with knight d5 and uh, here even they can just go with this uh, bishop to d2 like that okay knight c3 is more complex uh, black can go knight f5 knight e4 bishop f8 and here white can go for g4 now knight takes f into g6 king e2 and uh, this is somewhat playable for white again there is knight e1 it's to to be also equal knight e1 and they can go with knight f5 and it also is equal with equal position but here 
White goes with uh, Bishop F4. Carlson decides to exchange the knight and to create some weakness around the king side. And this is one of the good decision in the end game by Carlson, which which creates some permanent weakness. Gt F3. Bishop takes F4, and here we have this knight takes F4. X bishop. Now we have rook c6 equal rook c6. Now it feels that uh, black is slightly better, very slightly better with the good pawn structure. But uh, the white king side is not uh, that much good here. Rook e1, knight f5. Again, this knight wants to reach uh, d4 or they can attack the weak uh, pawns. They can go with the knight d4 or they can go with knight h4. c3, they are controlling the d4 square. So knight h4. Now white goes for uh, defending the pawn on f3, rook e3. Now, Carlson activates his uh, king to f8. But here the engine suggests the g6. When we go with the knight g2, they can try to play knight f5, rook e3, king f8. Now Nepo goes for knight g2. And uh, Carlson goes for knight f5, rook e5. Now g6. Now knight to e1. This is the type of question. Uh, one which uh, Carlson likes very much. He wants to play very slow positions, uh, mainly in the end games. So here, uh, this move is slight a mistake. White could have gone with king e2 and knight e3, and we can try to question this uh, knight so that we can exchange the knights and uh, uh, play with uh, double rooks. Okay. But here, uh, Nepo goes with knight e1, knight to g7. Again, he wants to reroute the knight to e6. He wants to push f6 or f5. Later, if he, uh, he wants, he can go with king f7 and uh, king f6 at towards very near to the to be very near to the center. So knight g7 is a good move. Knight g7 is a good move. An idea of the f-pawn move. The upper king of the f-7 or f-6 or the other land on the other. So here white goes for rook e4, f5, rook e3, knight e6, and now Nepo goes for knight g2. And here, before is again interesting move in this position, very nice move. And here, uh, the b3 b pawn, which is in front of the doubled pawn, will be under attack. So here, the b4 is one of the very good move found over the board by uh, Carlson. Our idea of the double pawn attack on the first in the c3 pawn attack on the capture on it, then they you will try uh, black tries to open up the b5. Okay, this is very nice move again towards the center. Rook to b8 again, he wants to get into the b file. B file or one on pagrare rook at the turn. So if you think na for rook b1 na or bad move I don't. Again the idea is very simple. He wants to black wants to go with the letter a5 and later he wants to take the c3 pawn b into c3 pawn exchange pawn na. He can even develop try to develop the rooks make a double rook battery in the b file and they have will have some advantage. So here white goes for a very good move, king to d2, defending the pawns on the queen side. 
Now Carlson wants to open the B file, B into C3, B into C3, rook into B3. Finally, material, material has been now equalized. Red Berkman, Patina, equal material. White has uh, five points and black has also. Uh, black also has five points. King C2, Rook B7, H4. Now, Patina, for weakness in Patina, in the pawn weakness. Okay? Red pawn is weaker. Okay? Are they very side in Patina? They have some weakness. Red Berkman weakness, okay? The portion Patina Kunja balanced Arkipo. So here Carlson goes for uh, King F7, rookie E1, and the portion is nearly equal. King F6, Knight T3. Knight c4, nice outpost for the knight. He wants to go with knight to e5, threatening both the rooks. Rook is 7, knight e5 is threatening the c6 rook. So rook d6, knight c4. Thirmo repeat Pandranga. Both the players are repeating. So after knight c4, both the players agreed to the draw. First match, Pathina, first two opening on the Nepo Kunja on the slight advantage in the pawn up. As a couple of Pathina is on the actual Carlson on the prepare Panikar in the line, prepare Pani Kirnala or Kunja. First of all, the draw so both the players are uh, somewhat happy with the draw with the first game. Okay, friends, thank you. Hope all of you enjoyed this uh, video. If you have any comments, you can give your comments. Yellarkin the video puts into the Nanagra. My friends could alarm me in the video, share Pananga, Alarum Loda, comments Pudunga, likes Pudunga. Marakama on the subscribe pannunga. Okay, friends. Thank you. Bye.